Most people care about the truth. But most people, given proper persuasion, can be diverted from it. Fortunately, there are some who possess an unusually powerful love of the truth. What is the second least populous Asian capital? Thimphu? Bhutan. Correct! These are the people I must find before it's too late. <laughs> they may be humble or obstinate, delightful, mildly enraging. I'm told that it was a, quote, rude look from her new roommate that set Miss Contraire off. Miss Contraire! Miss! You gave her a roommate? These unique individuals are the only ones who can save us from this condition called the emergency. Every day, our minds are under attack by a plague of fear and anxiety. These truth-loving people come from unexpected places. Experience, they tend to be children. for you, Muldoon? No. No, not at all, Carl. I can read under any condition. <laughs> yeah, how's the book? It's enjoyable. Enjoyable? He said enjoyable. <laughs> enjoyable isn't even that complicated a word. Why are you so weird? <laughs> I do not know. Why don't we start your Tamil lessons early today, Rainy? Sure, Miss Permal. Aren't you hungry? Um, I don't blame you. Is that, um, cheese? I think so. Hmm. I can share. Thanks. It's not really the food. I'm just feeling a little anxious, I guess. I've been waking up like that lately. Me too. It just feels like something bad is about to happen every morning. That's the emergency. Like it's all falling apart and no one can help. Everyone's just scared all the time. Everyone's preparing for the worst. And this doesn't help, does it? 
That's all people are talking about. Except the water polo scores. <laughs> yes, at least we have the water polo scores. <laughs> Was it always like this? Bad news all the time? I don't remember it that way. Listen, I've been saving something for you. It's a test. And the winners get a scholarship to the Boatwright Academy. What? The Boatwright Academy? The one and only. It's a palace of learning, Rainy. I know. Kids go there and they come out artists and scientists and diplomats. Not kids like me. Rainy? There's no way I'll make it. I'm not special. Ningen the nula hatale irukom illa puttahanglium basil gringla. In the nula ham meha um suriadi. Ide ana de halaku urie nula ham ahom. You deserve to be at a good school, Rainy. And you deserve to be around kids who accept you. Don't let this place convince you that you don't deserve a chance. Will you try? You really think I could do it? I do. Turn on the lights and wake anybody up. That makes sense. Ready? Uh -huh. services after this. I haven't passed it yet. I don't even know if I want to. Rainy. Maybe we should just skip it. We can go back and have our normal day. I really don't need all this. Rainy. It's okay to want something for yourself. Now you go in there and you just be you. Okay? It's gonna make all the difference. This feels like a goodbye, goodbye. Good luck, sweetheart. Given the speed of the two trains and the distance between them, how long will it take for the two trains to collide? 
37 minutes, 4 seconds. But given the standardization of railroad timekeeping and the modernization of both warning and braking systems, hopefully enough safeguards are in place to avoid a crash altogether. An elephant and a llama are falling to their deaths from a great height. You can only save one. Which? I'd save the elephant in hopes that it could break the llama's fall. True or false, I'm usually right. Most of my friends are imaginary. I don't generally feel empty inside. Real change is impossible. Fish are unnerving. True. Do you watch television? Not really. Are you brave? Are you brave? I would like to think so. Pencils! I shall now read the names of the children admitted to the second phase of the test. If your name is called, report to the Monk Building on 3rd Street no later than 1 o'clock. You will bring one and only one pencil, as well as an eraser. Any more or less, you will be disqualified. Which would be a gift, considering the academic brutality of the next exam. Yes? You say to bring only one pencil, but what if the lead breaks? Will there be a sharpener? Yes. If a sharpener should become necessary, one will be provided. I shall now read the list. <clears throat> Raynard Muldoon. Wait, what? That's it? That's it? Rotten luck. You don't happen to have an extra one, do you? No, sorry. I was told to, you know. I know, I know. Only one pencil, and my only one is down there. How could I have been so stupid? Boatwright was my dream. It was just an accident. What are you still doing here? They're about to start the test. Well, I'm not going to leave you without a pencil. Oh, how are we going to get it back? If we're one minute late, we're out. We don't need to get it back. We can share this one. I mean, they assured me there'd be a sharpener inside. <gasps> I'm Rhonda Kazembe. It's nice to meet you. Rainy Muldoon. If you have your eraser, we're all set. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I haven't properly thanked you. You're welcome. Come on. Here's the thing. I'm going to make a perfect score. I hope you do. No, you don't get it. I have the answers. It's a great attitude. Oh, sit right behind me. I will move my paper where you can see it so you can copy right off of it. Why would... Oh. Oh, no, no, no. I... No, thank you. I'd rather not. Okay. Suit yourself. Hope you know what you're in for. I hope so, too.
And if any child is caught cheating, they will be executed. Ex excused. Will be excused. <clears throat> this test is going to be long and it's going to be difficult. <gasps> Was I not clear about the talking? Oh, I, I just groaned. Well, and now you've spoken again. You are excused. Yes. Very well. You will have one hour to complete the test, and you must follow these four directions exactly. One, put your name on the test. Two, read all the questions and answers carefully. Three, circle the correct answer. Four, bring the test to me. In order to pass, you must answer every question correctly. Anything less? You fail. Five, start the test. Four, A. That was 4A. If you feel faint, put your head between your knees. If you're going to vomit, a trash can will be provided. Oh God, I can't do this. In 1885, the Kingdom of Serbia declared war on the Principality of Bulgaria after Bulgaria declared unification in the city of Plovdiv with which semi-autonomous region? A, Western Romania, B, Eastern Rumelia, C, Northern Romania. Where Albania. did the common vetch originate and to what family which does it belong? Which of the following 50 herbs can be used in a poultice for the bite of a jumping spider? One, put your name on the test. Two, read all of the questions Read all of the questions and answers carefully. The Bregova dispute served as pretext for a war to break out between Bulgaria and which country when Bulgaria and the semi-autonomous region of Eastern Romelia declared the unification in the city of Plovdiv in 1885. After Bulgaria declared unification in the city of Plovdiv with which semi-autonomous country when Bulgaria and the semi-autonomous region of Eastern Romelia Eastern declared Romelia? the unification the answers are in the Plovdiv questions. Despite having originated in Europe, the vine known as the common Vetch, a member of the pea family. Where does the common vetch originate? And to what family does it belong? Which three of the following 50 herbs can be used in a poultice for the bite? A poultice of fresh bite. plantain leaf, slippery elm, or yarrow will neutralize the irritation from the bite of what animal?
It's a compliment. I shall now read the list of those who have passed the test. If your name is called, remain seated and await further instruction. Raynard Muldoon? That is all. Good day. Best of luck, kid. gotten rid of the other children. Consolation donuts and hugs and whatnot. Only a few more minutes to wait. Would it be possible to get a consolation donut? I'm really hungry. Are you desolate? No. Feel like a failure? No, ma'am. Well, then. Well, wait, miss. I'm sorry. You never really told me your name. Nothing to be sorry for. Do you have a question or a comment? I was just wondering if I could please contact my teacher, Miss Perrimo, so she doesn't worry. That's a perfectly reasonable question. Is this where we're supposed to wait? It's where I'm supposed to wait, so I guess that might go for you, too. I'm Rainy. Sticky Washington. Were you here for the test? Yes, I guess this means we're going to boat ride. So, are you the only one who passed in your group? I think so, which was weird because... Because there was a girl who cheated. How'd you know? The same thing happened to me. Rhonda, right? Did she lose her pencil outside? Yes, I felt so bad for her. So was a trick. A test. Also a trick. Ah! What's the matter? What's the matter with you? What are you running from? I'm not running from, I'm running too. This is where I was told to go. Why are you running? Why wouldn't I be? It's faster. I'm talking about logic, guys. I'm Kate Weatherall. That's Sticky Washington. Why do they call you Sticky? I tend to sort of remember everything I read or see. It all just sticks. Sticky. OK, cool. I've always wanted a nickname. How about you guys call me the Great Kate Weather Machine? Um, Fun. It's good. No offense, but it sort of takes a long time to say. Not if you say it quickly. Forget it. I'm trying to get that going for a while. Guess I just have to let it come naturally. What's the bucket for, Kate? Carrying things. You never seen a bucket before? What things? Flashlight, nylon rope, fishing wire, twine, super glue, bag of marbles, kaleidoscope, slingshot, magnet, Swiss Army knife. I'm a self-contained unit. Anything that comes up, I deal with myself. Got to be ready. Like this morning, some crazy looking girl dropped her pencil down the storm drain. And without this bucket, she'd have been up the creek without a paddle. Paddle might be nice to have. No, it's too bulky. Collapsible paddle? Anyway. Did you help Ronnie get her pencil back? Of course I did. It's tough to get a pencil out of a 10 and a quarter inch crack at the bottom of a storm drain without a bucket full of stuff. No kidding. Hold it, how did you know the girl's name was Rhonda? The same thing happened to both of us. We think she was a part of the test. Of course she was a part of the test. I knew that in like five seconds. Plus, I'm Krista. Nice to finally meet the competition. Pleased to meet you, Krista. That's pleased to meet you. No D. Actually, I don't think. Pretty sure of it. Oh, this is Dewey. So, is this everybody who passed the test? <laughs> no, I didn't pass. I mean, I don't think I got any of the questions right. I hope the lady in charge just gave a bunch of crazy parents afterwards. Started a small fire as a diversion. Easily containable, no injuries. Afterwards, she told me to come here. OK, everybody here? Proceed to room 7B. Down this hall to the right. You 
Your next test is through that door. You'll go in one at a time. Follow the instructions. I'll be watching. Jeez, how about a hello? Hello. I am Milligan. Krista. You're first. You know it. What do you mean by no? The task is impossible. It can't be done. The test is an attempt to trick us. So my answer is no. You may go home now. What? You may go. Across? The sign said without setting foot on a square. It turns out all the tiles are slightly longer than they are wide. So they're not squares, they're rectangles. Hmm. You all passed. Follow me. Downstairs. Final test ahead. At least it's a nice sewer. Oh. I mean, it's an okay sewer. I had another panic attack last night. Really? Oh, yeah, I was in any wonder though with the emergency going on. Yeah, it's like nobody's at the wheel. Get that right. No, I'm taking my money. I've noticed something. The smell, the decreased visibility, the flood danger. You've got a point, but no, they haven't mentioned a scholarship or the boat ride academy once this whole time. It's a weird way to approach a fancy school through a sewer. Now what? 
Has anyone been allowed to call their parents? That would show weakness. I told my parents not to expect to hear from me. Yes, uh, I did that too. What about you, Kate? I don't have anybody to call. My mother died when I was a baby and my father ran away and left me when I was three. Guys, it's really fine. Really, I don't even remember them. You don't remember them at all? Actually, that's not totally true. I do have one memory. So, down the road from our house was this old mill pond, and my dad took me there to swim once. I was only three, but I was a good swimmer. I laughed and splashed around, I was exhausted. I can't really picture his face. I remember how his arms felt, lifting me out of the water. It was strong, warm from the sun. I asked if we could go back sometime, and he said, of course, Katie Cat, because that's what he called me, Katie Cat. But next thing I know, he was gone, and I was in an orphanage. That's terrible. It was a long time ago. Besides, circus life was really good for me. Circus life? Oh, yeah. I ran away from the orphanage to join the circus. Learned to craft, met some people. It was a great couple years. But then I read about this test, and I thought, that's for me. Do you ever miss your dad? What's to miss? He chose to leave me. I'd rather hang out with elephants and clowns. What about you? You get it. I can tell. I never really knew my parents, so I don't specifically miss them. But... But generally, you do? My parents love me. They call me their miracle. I'm back. It's time. Mission's office? I don't know. Hello? Oh, all the rooms are the same. Well done, genius. That was rude and uncalled for. You should apologize. Hello, children. <gasps> Wanda? That is still my name. You tricked us. Nah, just doing my job. You're not a kid. Mm-mm, not a kid. So, here you are, the final section. You have five minutes to navigate the maze, climb the stairway, and ring the bell at the top. You should be able to do this with your eyes closed. Keep in mind, however, that we can only take the first three of you who ring that bell. So, I start to each in different rooms. When you hear the bell, off you go. Hmm? Sticky! 
heard you screeching. It was more of a yell. It did the job. Are you okay? I think so. Do we just go? Only 15 seconds left. Nope. Five minutes, 10 seconds. So, Joey was the only one to ring the bell in the prescribed time. Word of advice, cardio. Kate got here on time, but she refused to ring the bell. I thought I'd wait to ring it with you two. Well done. Do it. Milligan will escort you home. What? No, but you said the first three. Yes, and these were the first three to ring the bell. Unless you rang it with two others. But, uh, this isn't fair. I don't disagree. But, uh, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. He's gonna, he's gonna pay for you to death. Congratulations. You've all passed. No more tests? No more tests. We have our team. in there. Truly, one of the preeminent ethicists, moralists, and scientists of our time. Mr. Benedict. <clears throat> Mr. Nicholas Benedict. Oh, hello, welcome, congratulations. Hello? Oh. There we are. Hello. I'm the aforementioned Mr. Benedict. Oh. <laughs> hello, sir. Hello. Ah, oh, rainy, sticky, Kate. Ah, oh, I'm so glad you're here. Please, come here. Come with me. Just have a seat right there. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you look hungry. Well, of course you must be. I could eat. Ah, number two, yeah? Mm. This is number two's famous fruit leather. It's incredible. I highly recommend the pineapple. Oh, we only have tree bark. Don't eat that. Um, I'm okay, thanks. Um, but, uh, no worries. After our fourth rise, we'll have a full meal after the orientation. A fourth? Yes, a fourth member of the team. Please, not Dewey. No, it's not Dewey. It's someone, uh, oh, what's the best way to say this? Someone much better in most ways, but in some ways much worse. This place is ugly and smells like eggs. He's disgusting. <sighs> Here we are. Friends, allow me to acquaint you with your fourth. Constance Contra. Actually, the smell might be coming from this guy. Mm. Heard of a toothbrush, old man? Uh, but we've never seen her. You see me now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Constance approached today's tests in a um, less conventional manner. for nothing. But how was she here if she didn't pass any of the tests? But how was she here if she didn't pass any of the tests? You're very unpleasant. Okay, uh, to answer your question, Stinky, you know there's tests, and then there's tests, and then there's rules, and then there's, you know, rules. Which are tools for you, fools. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 Mr. Benedict. Mr. Benedict. Okay. Mr. No, 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 I would not use this one. Oh, he likes it. No, no, he's like it. Sorry. How long was I out? Your seconds. Just like. Well, here's a helpful fact. I have type one narcolepsy with cataplexy. Quite severely, I might add. It's um, it's brought on by extremes, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know, extreme emotions, mainly from a root of joy. Um, uh, sometimes the absurdity of the universe. A good pun. Constance, apparently. <laughs> <clears throat> sir, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's plenty.
flat is no accident. This, uh, this particular pattern, it, uh, it calms me. Hmm. Am I the only one who's going to acknowledge that this is weird? No, it is. It is. Oh, and I can't believe I waited this long to say this. You should all be so proud of yourselves. Each of you richly deserve to go to the Boatwright Academy. <laughs> Unfortunately, however, no one's going to the Boatwright Academy. What? That was a ruse. A lie. That was a ruse. Why would you lie to us? Yeah, or ruse no, us. No, 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 please, 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 please. There's please, always please, a please, catch. Please. Why are we here? What is the truth? Ah, Rainy, that's the right question. That's the right question. And if I may, allow me to ask you one. What is it that you all have in common? Hmm? We all passed your boring tests. Mm -hmm. We're all alone. Yes. But most importantly, it was clear that you all possess a quality that is severely lacking in our society. What quality? Empathy. You see others. You care for others. <laughs> you love truth. In fact, I think you may be among the few capable of seeing the truth anymore. Oh, but what that does is help you to resist the disinformation that's being fed to us every single day. And yes, Rainy, yes, you were alone, but look at you now. Look. I see fear and bad passion. No, no, you're a team. A team. We're asking you to go on a mission. A risky undercover mission. And unfortunately, one that can only be accomplished by children. A team of children. Oh, please understand, I don't take this lightly. I don't. And you may leave. You may walk out and leave. But I truly believe that you are in more danger if we do nothing. I just really wanted to go to the Boat Red Academy. I know. I'm sorry. Their science wing? It's supposed to be unreal. Honestly, it's amazing. So you lied to us all because you needed a bunch of smart orphans to do a deadly mission. I get it. Ideally not deadly. So out with it. What is happening? This is happening. The emergency. I'm sure you've heard of it. How could we not have? Of course. And I'm convinced that this emergency that has everyone so anxious, so distracted, that is threatening to tear our society apart is a fiction created by one person. What? Um, who? We don't know. We don't know, but this, uh... Oh, Disgraceful this, uh, machinator? That's, right. that's what? Machinator? Yes. They work in the shadows. Well, then... How? By sending secret, undetectable messages designed to distract us, designed to scare us, divide us. Oh, and this sender is perfecting a system. Which does what? It's a sort of, a sort of mass hypnosis that will enable this sender to do virtually anything. How do we know you're telling the truth? You don't. We only just met. <laughs> and look at you. Look at you. You're smart, sensitive, intuitive children who have every right to question me. Oh, but I'm counting on the idea that you can already sense the truth. And you care enough to do something about it. Please hear me. You are needed. I know this world has made you feel unwanted, abandoned, angry, but it needs you desperately. It doesn't know it, but your unique talents can save it from this coming storm. The truth is our world may never appreciate you or see what makes you special, but I see it. I see hope. 
And even if you decide to not choose this mission, oh, oh I feel so honored to have crossed paths with such brilliant children. <laughs> thank, thank you for the time. <laughs> Needed? Yes. What's happening? What's the alarm for? Your responsibilities uh, seem, seem to have begun quicker than we thought. Uh oh. 